When my ridiculous sunglasses arrive, we gotta fucking, we gotta do like some crazy costumes. Yes, we do. We do need to do crazy costumes because I have, man, I got, I got some props and stuff. You got some props? Uh-huh. Is one of them a big black dick? No. <laughs> you know what? I did have, a, I had a mold for candles <laughs> that was a penis. <laughs> People buy that shit. <coughs> oh, God. That is funny. Yeah. And some people buy them just to buy them because why wouldn't you have a candle for the penis? Why wouldn't you have a candle shaped like a big black penis? Well, I don't have my, I don't have my like ridiculous shades, but I do have my driving shades. Oh. Oh, nice. I'll be back. <laughs> See, but you, you, you got aviator sunglasses. I'm, I got like Elton John going on in her hair. I don't know. It's a good thing that I'm not like one of those pieces of shit like that fucking dude from the New York Times because if I had some porn on my screen right now, you'd totally be able to see it. <laughs> Jerking off during a Zoom call. What the fuck is the matter with these people, Caitlin? They just, I don't know, they're, they're, the common sense has taken leave of them. It's not even common sense, it's common decency. <laughs> Oh, look at me, I'm a left-wing writer for the New York Times. I guess I'm just gonna beat my meat on camera and harass all my coworkers with my floppy, disgusting dick. <laughs> Orange man, bad, both bad. <laughs> That's how everyone at the New York Times sounds to me. <laughs> Wait, was it the New York Times? Hang on, I'm gonna make sure I've got the news outlet right. Uh, uh, uh journalist, journalist. Where's the New York Times? Off on Zoom. Where's the New Yorker? New York, New Yorker, not the New York Times, the New Yorker. Yeah. Jeffrey Tubin. Yes. I, I guess he. I guess he was rubbing his tubin. <laughs> I wonder if he had any lube in. Mm, maybe not. That guy deserves to be hauled off to the screw bin <laughs> for committing that new sin. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say <laughs> the news is in for Tubin. <laughs> I had to I had to reach for that one. <laughs> Let's see, all of his crimes can be proven. <laughs> if I was on that Zoom call, I'd have been like, Tubin, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, Kate, is it time for some bars? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> it's time for some bars. <laughs> are we gonna rev up those fryers? Sure. Fuck yeah, let's wrap up those motherfucking fryers. <laughs> Caitlin, I know for a fact, we found a version of that remix that went for like three hours, didn't we? Was it three hours? Or an hour or something. It went for a while. Yeah, I think it was like one of those hour loop things. <clears throat> I know we did. I was rapping to it for like 14 minutes, like more. I think I was rapping to it for almost half an hour straight. Was that the one you did and it was like 25 minutes? Yes. <laughs> How the fuck am I going to write a whole... Man, Kate, it, it will never... I will never understand how I've written, like, two novels going on three. Uh-huh. And I still, like, misspell common-ass simple words all <laughs> the time. I don't understand how I'm this smart, but simultaneously this stupid. Hey, well, no, no, I mean, I mean, you're you're not the only one, okay? Because I mean, right off the top of my head, sometimes to ask me how to spell something, I can, but sometimes when I write it down, it does not make it onto the paper how it is supposed to be spelled. <clears throat> And I don't know how that happens. So you are not the only one. I'm like, all right, I will. How do typey this way? I didn't understand. <laughs> so, yeah, I type this with my with my meat cloth <laughs> with my with my blood and bone pokies. <laughs> Rev up those fryers, cause I'm sure hungry. Bring out the lunch, it is so munchy. Yeah, 
throw it in the fire until it's done so that I don't get the fucking runs. That food better be cooked all the way through because you know if it's Hank in the inside, I'm going to hit you with the gun food. That's a little different than kung fu. I pull out the gat. I go black, black, and you lay back dead as a doorknob. Yeah, your mom, she a doorknob. Yeah, everybody's reaching on the knob. Yeah, everybody get that bitch a spin. Yeah, man, you know she doing sins. Yeah, you know I'm about to spin. Yeah, up in the DJ booth and I'm going wild. I got style. Yeah, you know that I got time and I'm keeping that time. I'm a watch. Diamonds on my wrist, diamonds on my wrist because I'm too legit. So legit with my shades on. Kate got the shades on. We got the shades on. And I'm so, so blonde. And I'm just so blonde. Yeah, yeah. Hit me with the burst. Yeah. Hit you with the purse. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> Tell me who gets that reference. Do you get that reference, Kate? Do you get that reference, Kate? <laughs> You were watching it last night. I revved up the fryers cause I was hungry. Man, I really had the munchies. Man, they were so damn tasty. The fries and the onion rings and the cod chips, yeah. And I fucking put down my chips, yeah. Went to the casino, made a bet, yeah. You know that I got paid, yeah. And you know that I got laid, ha, yeah. I'm a fucking clown. You know that I've been around. You know that I go to town. You know when I go in on this beat, some shit about to go down, yeah. I'm a about to throw down yeah i'm about to know now yeah i'm about to show y'all how we do with the white boy coming straight through on the mic silver threads and mesh i'm about to wish you were dead yeah oh did i say i wish you were dead that's because i'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> doesn't need to make sense no. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Rap, 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 let me hit you with some new bars and I'm going to slow down. We ain't in cars. Yeah, we just walk in and we steady talking. Yeah, you know that I'm not trying to flaunt, kid. Yeah, I'm just trying to hit you with the truth. Yeah, I keep it lit. Keep it true. Yeah, keep it trill as fuck. And with some luck, you'll listen while I'm rapping through my life story. Yeah, I'm the story of the year, kid. So you want to get it, get it in print. Hardcover so it lasts. Yeah, you already know I'm built to last. Born like a little stid in the sticks yeah my tongue tripped over that bar it's okay though because i'm gonna get back on my flow you already know you already know yeah raised up in the tack town to be a little weird ass clown yeah i pronounced weird kind of weird right there but that's okay check out my hair blonde as fuck with the waves yeah you know that i got the wave yeah you know that i'm about to crave yeah a little bit of coke with the slaves yeah that's what i'm gonna fucking do after this bar, I'm going to come through with the white, the Christmas, about to be white. Yeah, we snowing all night. Yeah, all night. Nah, I don't really do coke. That was just a fucking joke. I'm going to take a toke, though. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> that was some heat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, goofy. Oh, my God. Not smooth. Oh my god! I have to get you to the point where you can rap, so that you can rap as Smeagol. Oh my god! Oh, okay. We have got to. We have got to educate you in the in 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 bar foo, Caitlin. Yes. Oh, oh, a rumble. Hmm. Talk all the time. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's mm -hmm. let's let's do this. Okay. This shit is hella gay. I don't know if I can rap this. Fuck it, I give it a try. Yo. Why you talking to me in that Smeagol ass voice? It's not noise. You have a choice. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to shut up. 
yeah i'm gonna need you to fucking put up yeah i need that ring up your ass because i don't want to see it in the grass because if i see it i'm reaching for it then i'll be possessed saw ron all in my mess saw ron all in my soul he made a hole yeah you know he tearing my butt into because he got the kung fu demon kung fu when he run through with the big with the way back gauntlets. I said that kind of like Daffy Duck, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks, the moral of the story, the moral of that bar was Sawan ripped my anus open and is now possessing my soul. Because oh. Smeagol <laughs> left the dirt in the ring, in the ring, in the dirt. I'm a skirt. I'm a blurt out some lines. I'm a do some of these lines. I'm about to write some lines. Just give me time. Yeah, we keep it going. Yeah, we keep it flowing. You already knowing. You already knowing. I'm still going fast as can be. Yeah, you do not want to see me. You can't see me anyways. Cause I'm running through, staying in the days, staying in a phase, staying in a craze. Yeah, you already know I'm with the waves. Uh, yeah, I'm riding waves, surfing on these hoes. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, on the fruit flow. Yeah, I meant to say flute flow. Man, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> like I did to your sister. Man, I'll never miss her. That bitch never kiss her. Yeah, she a trick, but she thick, so I still hit it. Yeah, it was cool until I fucking quit it. And she stalked my ass for a week. Guess I deserve it, though. Maybe I shouldn't be a stupid little man, ho. Uh, yeah, doing that thing. Yeah, eh, doing that thing. Yeah, yeah, doing bad things. Yeah, yeah, doing bad things. And I fucking sing about it on the mic. Oh, that ran out of beat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, what if, what if, okay, would it be weird if, if Smeagol did the, a sign of the mixture between Elmo and Smeagol, Elmo? <laughs> <laughs> that is a horrifying thought. <laughs> oh, oh, they had a baby. <laughs> okay. I don't want to think about a Smeagol that you can stick your head up its ass and talk to it. <laughs> Elmo is just a, <laughs> a character who has his own whole ass and nobody is able to put it in a hand with that. <laughs> Pickle me, Elmo. Pickle me, Elmo. I'm about to be real, Felmo. Felmo. I'm about to reach through the Delmo. Delmo. About to choke you out real slow-mo. Slow-mo. Yeah, I'm done with that bit. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking spit. Yeah, cause you know I'm too legit. Yeah, too legit to ever fucking quit. Yeah, staying in this squeaky voice cause I can. Yeah, I'ma slap you round cause I can. Yeah, bring in the strap, bring in the gat. You already know I'm staying strapped. Yeah, got the clips in my pocket and I'm coming through when I glock it. Yeah, cock it back and shoot you in the face. Yeah, yeah. Send your soul to outer space, yeah, yeah. I'ma win this race. I'ma be the greatest in your face. You will taste my cock in your mouth when I'm going south. You already about to know, yeah. You already know what it tastes like cream of some young guy. Yeah, that's a distinct flavor. It's like milk and salt. Can't mistake it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Mickey Room Dirty! Jesus Christ, Kaylin! <laughs> you gotta warn people <laughs> before you just fucking commit fucking <laughs> biological warfare on camera. How many small Ugandan children died because that fucking chemical warhead detonated on accident, Caitlin? Hey. How many Syrian refugees are going to cross the border because of that fucking warhead, Caitlin? I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not really even from a tunnel, okay? It's because <laughs> you have to do it with a diaphragm when you breathe in a circle and do the spots. So, so. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses are <laughs> okay. 
no. I don't know. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And now you sound like a chickmunk. Loss. Because that is what happens when I start moving it. What am I doing? Okay. Do you like my Joe Biden impersonation? <laughs> what are you? You're sniffing me and I cannot see you. <laughs> Frank, what are you doing? Uh, 84 million votes, my ass. Uh huh. Oh, well, most of them were dead, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's very, very easy to convince dead people to do things for you because it's not really like they have any choice. Yo, facts. I convinced this dead girl yet last night to have sex with me. It was lit. <laughs> like, but no, I'm not into necrophilia. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I don't like, you know, that way you don't have to say you're sorry. <laughs> it's not rape if she's already dead. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, so basically, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> what? So basically, it's like, <laughs> like, 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 it's like an inanimate object or a potato or. A... <laughs> it's like a, it's, it's like a very human shaped fruit. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's like when you carve a hole in some fruit and fuck that. Only it's person shaped, <laughs> and the hole's already there. Usually, <laughs> like unless of course it is a golem, and then you know they. It's time to help what people customize and save Liberty Mutual. Kaylin. Why, why are you encouraging me? At the Los Angeles Recording School. Uh, am I being am I being bad influence? Yes. That's You're encouraging me to say uh, bad, bad things. Oh yes, and of course I would be considered the responsible party because I am I'm just a stranger and older than you are. <laughs> <laughs> What, two years? Yeah, I'm 30. Yeah. Your birthday is January 12th? Uh-huh. Hey! Yep, I still remember most people don't remember. That's why I call myself Invisible Kate, because most people don't. They call me Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane. Should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane. Because you can look right at me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. I feel like that was a pretty good. I feel yes. like that was a pretty good power chord. That was that was that was, that was pretty good. And you know that the the other part of the story that they leave out is the fact that he realizes that he's made of cellophane and that he can suffocate people. <laughs> <laughs> they call Here, give me a big hug, cellophane, they- <laughs> Mister cellophane i'm gonna bring you pain mr (laughs) cellophane because i can choke all your kids make you die quick and they'll never know i was there (laughs) or 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 better yet and i don't even care (laughs) <laughs> because I'm I'm classic rap. That's just what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I'll never, even if they know it was me, they'll <laughs> never do anything about it. You can't convict plastic wrap of a crime. <laughs> Nobody, no crime. <laughs> Jokes on you! I don't have a social security number. Jokes <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> on you! You don't even have a brain. <laughs> hey, Kate. Uh -uh. We should just do some impromptu singing. Yeah. Get those bells a ringing. Mm -hmm. And we could maybe no. play a game with it like we occasionally finish each other's verses or pick up where the other left off. Hmm. Maybe. maybe. Um. <laughs> That was an invitation to start, Caitlin. You okay. This game already. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What did you have in mind? <laughs> well, you know, I figured we could go for a time. Switching up our styles and switching up our voices, making different performance choices. And then we could throw out the occasional funny line. Like that time I rubbed my nipples for a dime. Like that girl I once dated, she was a dime. But then I ran out of time. And she turned back into a blow up doll. <laughs> so far off the original topic we pulled out of that. <laughs> so, you gonna pick up where I left off? Uh, um. My girlfriend was a blow up doll all along. She, <laughs> she, she turned back into one. She was one all along. Because, see, when I say I ran out of time, what I mean is I finished masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> and I stopped pretending that it was anything other than a blow up doll. <laughs> that was the joke in the song lyric. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta clip that out that goes on if you're feeling adventurous <laughs> the whole the, the whole song yes. right up until i explained that joke right there <laughs> oh yes here we go again you're explaining your jokes again <laughs> Like every other episode up until now. <laughs> Here we go again. I feel chemicals kicking in. And Zach's explaining his jokes, and I don't want to see him go down that road. Cause I feel like my head might explode. And I want to run and hide. Yeah, I want to run and hide when Zach gets to explaining his jokes. So we just switched songs that we're parodying. Yeah, I'm singing Green Day and you're singing along with me, but you don't know the words because it's something I made up right now while you heard. <laughs> Okay, do you want to hear? Do you want to hear uh, uh, some of the some of the parodies that me and Wes wrote that yeah. we were supposed to? So we were gonna make a band, and the band's name was gonna be Master Pro, and we were gonna start with parody songs. Okay, mm -hmm. we had so many of them written down. There was um, 
there was Let's Start an Orgy, which is a parody of Let's Start a Riot by Green Day. Oh my so, God, yes! <laughs> so it goes like, let's start an orgy, an orgy, let's have an orgy. Let's have an orgy, an orgy, let's have an orgy. And uh, and there was there was American Assassin, which was a parody of American Idiot by Green Day. Yes. Oh, God, it was. I wanna be an American assassin. Wanna get paid to fuck up the nation. And if you wanna come and join us, then welcome to my organization. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Follow me, I'm headshotting tomorrow. There is this victim I gotta follow. And if you tell on me, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Then there was, oh my God, there was Holy Diner, which mm -hmm. was a parody of Holy Diver by Dio. Yes. <laughs> Holy Diner. You were down too long in the midnight sea. Oh no, that no, I'm fuck the lyrics of Holy Diner, not Holy Diver. I love that song. Sorry, <laughs> I know it's, so, really it's good. such a good song. It's like, what the fuck is he singing about? But you don't care because the vocals and the metal, it is so it's good. So good. Uh, okay, Holy Diner, what is the slop that you're feeding me? Oh, I truly can't see. No, no. What the fuck, Dinah? I came here hoping to see the light. You know this food just ain't right. Oh my God. I'm not gonna pay. Holy <laughs> Dinah. No. <laughs> not right. I shit my pants in the morning <laughs> and the food you fed me gave the runs. It came out between my buns. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my God. And then uh, what was another one? <laughs> <laughs> there was 10,000 dicks in the air oh my god people can no longer cover their eyes I'm gonna fuck you don't walk away you will remember the night you were struck by the side of 10,000 dicks in the air <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 dicks in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then then else what then what do we uh we had um we had something that we were going to do for for afterlife basement life. We had basement life which was a parody of afterlife by Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> oh my god. I don't belong here, but somehow I'm stuck here. Escape from this basement life. Cause this time I'm right to move on and on. Straight up out of here. <laughs> we had some originals too. There was, um, there was the town of ups and downs, which is actually, I wish I had the song in front of me. It was written about a town from the legend of Dritz series. Really? Yeah. He loved Wes loved that series. And he oh, wrote a whole oh. ass song about this town called, and I think the town was called like ups and downs. It was like, Ups and downs, ups and downs. You found the town of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Welcome here to ups and downs. <laughs> and oh, fuck, I can't a verse. Hang on. Uh, 
Here we sing all day, then drink all night. We never put up a fight. Your girl has come around to the town of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Yeah. Um, it was a good song. Uh, I miss Wes. Uh, that dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Kill yourself and leave me here on this mortal coil alone, you <laughs> filthy rotten bastard. <laughs> Not fair. No. Not fair at all. Uh, what else did we have? We had um I know there was more American Assassin. Let's have an orgy. Oh, yeah. We had Down with the Thickness. Oh, my God. <laughs> come on, come on, get down on my thickness. Yeah, girl, on your knees for my thickness. Open up your mouth and suck onto me. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, get down with the thickness. You suck it up. Come on, get down on my thickness. You mothers get up. Come on, get down on my thickness. Oh, my God. <sighs> Needless to say, like many teenage boys, or or most, uh, the overwhelming majority actually, me and Wes were quite sex obsessed. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Like it comes from the same place in their brain that tells them they're hungry. And they're hungry all the time. <laughs> I don't know if I'm hungry or horny. I guess I better fuck a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jokes on you. I could be hungry and horny. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we are so far off the subject matter. Yes, we are. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, instant gratification books yeah. are stupid. And if you write to market, it's because you're an uncreative cuck to the system, man. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Word to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's like what I was um I was talking to somebody else about um the other day on one of my interviews. He was saying that the reason why a lot of people try and get into traditional publishing by writing YA is because you don't necessarily have to be any good. Now, right? Why? Right? <laughs> like, fuck, man. Twilight proved that. Right. But, like, you know what? It can be full of, I mean, it can have more plot holes in it than Swiss cheese. But as long as you can, you know, distract them with a hot person, you'll be okay. As long as you can make the teenage girl's panties wet, you can sell YA fiction. Right. <laughs> Yes. And if you want to call and anyone who wants to cancel me for that joke, South Park did it first. Go cancel them, then we can talk. Right, exactly. Didn't didn't they already try and do that? Cancel South Park? I'm sure some stupid ass SJW has, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, he made a joke about teenage girls getting horny. He's a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, guess, but everyone gets horny. Everyone. Everyone. In the entire world. It seems like there's a lot about human biology you fuckers don't know. <laughs> You'd be like, even your <gasps> grandma gets horny, man. <laughs> I'm so glad. 
I'd already swallowed that. Because <laughs> it would have been all over my desk. <laughs> Fuck you. That thing that happened in my throat hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was that funny. That joke was disgusting and I hate you for it. (laughs) Please make sure to make as many jokes of that quality (laughs) as possible in the future. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I I didn't realize it was that funny until (laughs) you almost... Choked it down on your water. Yes, my water. <laughs> yeah. Not a giant black penis at all. No, of course not. You know, because we can't really tell the difference. <laughs> We're wearing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Warning. This I reached for my water bottle and I just grabbed and I got a handful of big black dick. So it just went in my mouth. Then, <laughs> to, you know, these mistakes happen. <laughs> Hashtag was I drunk or was I high? Hashtag was I drunk or was I high? <laughs> Dude. You could legitimately use that hashtag for this whole show. Yeah. All right. Do it. This okay. has been, if you're, this has been, if you're feeling Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's have, the, we that's have, the third channel. We have, we have so many brain children, we can't keep track of their names anymore. <laughs> you. Man. Don't, don't don't compare us to Michael Ross like that. He can't keep up his brain's children's names either. <laughs> so don't you do that to us. Well, no, no. The reason why it was, it's because they weren't even his. We that okay, Kate. For the record, for the record, that is conjecture. That is that is an assumption. For the record, mm-hmm. literally speaking. For the record. Strictly also, based on what we factually know. Strictly based on what we factually know, based on the fact that I have been a ghostwriter for like 16 years and I know what the shit looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Like, allegedly looks like he's a fucking liar. <laughs> allegedly, it looked like he used a surrogate magical secret. <clears throat> Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to We Are a Genius, the show where you can come and see writers who probably have a collective IQ somewhere in the ballpark of Einstein act like drunken morons for an hour or more. <laughs> because this is what intellectuals actually do when nobody is looking. My meat cloth. <laughs> with my blood and bone pokies. <laughs> <laughs>